Hey guys, Timothy Roberts here. In this video, I'm going to show you a little process I'm going to do on this unlathe cymbal. This is a 23 inch cymbal that started out as a completely flat blank, so it did not have a bell, just a crusty brown potato chip looking thing. Uh, so I find the center hole, I hammer the bell out, drill the center hole, and then hammer the body of the cymbal and then edge it. And at this point, it's been shaped and I've used, you can probably see some of the spirals here on the surface. This is uh, what I've talked about, burnishing or blunt lathing. So using a blunt tool to uh, apply pressure on the lathe and this can help dial in the shape, dial in the stiffness that you want and iron out any soft spots that it has. So at this point, this symbol is ready for the next phase, uh, which is going on the lathe and having some of the oxide crust removed from the surface. So the brown oxide crust is what forms on the bronze when it's in the oven, when they're basically making the blank. So when you put this on the lathe and you take a, a cutting tool and you shave away that oxide crust, you open up the raw bronze underneath, which is that typical gold colored uh, symbol color that we all know and love. So the oxide crust has a huge effect on the sound. It really does, uh, contain the, the sustain and the spread so you get a really dry tone there's not a lot of shimmer or wash and then when you put it on the lathe and you shave away the crust all of a sudden it opens up a lot more and there's a lot more spread so yeah so let's check it out So due to how thin this symbol already is, it, it has wash, it has spread, and that's really due to the thickness. If this symbol was a lot heavier, it would be a lot drier and that sustain would be very choked and short. So what I'm gonna do is put it on the lathe and instead of actually shaving away a ton of weight, I'm literally just gonna use sandpaper to scrape away the very outer layer of the oxide crust. So the, the goal with this demonstration is to show you um, without removing a ton of weight, what the oxide crust is doing to the sound of the cymbal. So uh, let's put it on the lathe and we'll go from there. All right, so as you can see, it's got kind of a spotty look. There is still oxide crust uh, within the hammer marks that I did, so my sandpaper can't get down in there to scrape all of that away. So it's really only dealt with the, the raised portions on the blank here. So when you listen to it in just a second, listen for more highs, more of a shimmer, and more top end in the sound, and then the spread will be a little bit uh, smoother and a little bit longer.
All right, so just as uh, a next step, I'm gonna show you what I call a scratch pass where I'm using a really wide bit uh, tool that's flat on top. And I'm going to go over and, and scrape more of the surface away with an, with an actual cutting, cutting tool. So uh, this is gonna take away more of the bronze. We'll still see some of the oxide crust within the deepest hammer marks. Uh, but this will give you kind of the next step where we start actually removing weight but we're also opening up this extra shimmer and brightness that's gonna start cutting through. You can probably see there wasn't a lot of solid streams coming off and that's kind of the first thing that I'll do if I'm really trying to make minor adjustments on the lathe is I won't actually press in to get really uh, connected streams that are really thick and heavy. I'm really just, like I said, scraping the surface. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit because it was slipping and maybe do one more pass where I actually I'll, I'll put in a little bit more force that way I can actually see a stream coming off my uh, of my cutting tool. So now you can see we're getting into more of a traditional symbol look. We still have unlathed crust cutting through, uh, but this is really where we're going to start to hear that shimmer I was talking about. So I'd be willing to bet I only removed around 30 to 40 grams. So not a lot of weight has been taken off this symbol from when it was uh, totally unlathed. Uh, so all we're really doing is open up that crust, allowing more shimmer, but we want to keep enough weight for the stick definition. Let's check out how it sounds. In the room it sounds a bit muted and that's partly due to the fact that I hammered it yesterday and I did some work on it today. So anytime you're you're changing the symbol by hammering or lathing, the molecules are kind of getting squished and they need time to sort of rest. All right, so this symbol has now had over a week to fully rest and when I play it I hear a ton more of that high-end sparkle that I was talking about. Uh, those high-end frequencies that, that are coming off the symbol because that crust has been scraped off and a little bit of it shaved off on the lathe. So let's check it out. So that's a lot more of what I was wanting to hear from this symbol. It's a little bit more life in the high end. Uh, so next week I'm gonna have a part two to this, to this video where I'm gonna take this symbol and I'm gonna raise the profile up. Now what raising the profile does is it shoots the pitch up a little bit higher and it tightens the sustain a little bit. So if I want to pull my symbol more towards 
articulation and less towards open spread, I can do a little hammering to raise the profile. And then we're going to start to see how I take a symbol from a blank and really start fine tuning it to get it to the sound that I have in my head. So thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think and keep an eye out for part two coming next week. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications. I'm Timothy Roberts. Thanks so much for watching.